Great stuff! Oh, look at you guys all tuned in. Thank you so much. I'm just preparing because soon after this, I'm gonna have a um, uh, coaching call with a new client. Uh, yes. Now, my name is Prosper Taruinga. Thank you so much, Nicole, for uh, your time. Trish Mileli, how's it going? Steven Seddon, all the regulars are in the house. Thank you so much, everybody else, for tuning in. This is so amazing. And Nicole, so sorry I haven't received anything yet, but I think in this week or so, I should be getting something from you. Barbara, thank you so much for tuning in. All right, so, as I keep saying, my name is Prosper Tarovinga, and as you would know, uh, Trish, I can't wait for our call today. I hope you've got everything in check and we're... Um, you know, we're going to have a fantastic call. Mati Amos, thank you so much for tuning in. Erika, Erika Ella, how's it going? Thank you so much for tuning in as well. Um, my name is Prosper Taruinga. For those that are just recently starting off, um, you know, with this Lunch and Learns, I hear they're getting a little bit more popular. <clears throat> All right, so I help small businesses to actually, um, you know, grow through uh, digital marketing strategies. All right, so I help you to actually curate um, an online platform and a footprint that will help you start, scale and grow a business that's actually profitable and enjoyable. So every single day, as you can notice, as you can see, we've got regular people that tune in and we just discuss how we can help you to actually earn more money with less struggle. Okay. So if you watched yesterday's video, we talked about three things um, you know, that would help you actually, um, you know, um, with your online business. One of them being growing an audience, engaging that audience and actually selling to that audience. Now, today I came in with a crossover from yesterday's talk where I'm actually talking about how you can stand out from the whole market, all right? So just so that you are very well versed with who you're dealing with and what it is that to expect today, all right? Um, you're probably wondering to yourself, is this guy really worth my time? You can ask Trish, you can ask Nicole, you can ask Steven Seddon if I'm worth your time. But for a lot of people, I'm starting to realize that my answer for that is no. All right. The reason being, I can't, I can't help you to get rich quick. You know, I can't help you to, 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 you know, with shiny objects. I never sell any stupid courses every end of the week. You know why? And I never put out any scarcity out there. If you really want raw information on how to actually start, scale and grow a business that's profitable and enjoyable, then you're in the right place. One other thing though, I'm not a big fan of MLM, all right? So I've been having a lot of people asking me, how do I work with network marketing? Ugh, that's not my style. That's not my thing. Ask somebody else, all right? And um, one other thing is, if you don't like advertising, if you don't like really working hard and putting in the work, you're not going to enjoy my stuff, okay? If you don't like to grow an actual business that is based from the heart and something that you can actually will off to your kids and your descendants, this is not the show for you, all right? So don't feel like you have to sit with me for the next 30 minutes. I really want to work with people that want to start, scale and grow a business that's so profitable and they can enjoy working in that business, all right? And this is what I'll help with you specifically. I have a four step system that I created, you know, that is actually designed to help you start a business and you can b become profitable from it from, you know, a couple of weeks after you've started working with it. But you've got to put in the work, all right? And then you will start generating consistent leads. You will start standing out and you start earning more money within your business with less struggle. You know why? Because we're looking for the right kind of people with the right kind of pain and you're providing them with the right kind of pro product. How can you go wrong there? All right. So at the end of the day, there's a lot of people that are not figuring out if this is the right channel or if this is the right show for them to watch. Please feel, um, don't feel obliged to, 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 to sit through the next 30 minutes. I do these videos every single day and I start to notice those that are getting results from it because you know why? 
their results are showing. Some of my students are earning a lot more than some gurus out there and they're actually standing out. You know why? Because their work shows effort, their work shows love, and their work is actually giving them much needed results, okay? So don't just um, you know, feel like you are obligated to sit through these 30 minute videos because at the end of the day, it might just not be your thing. You know why? Because there's 7 billion people in the world, 2 billion of which are checking into Facebook every single day. And if you want to build a business and you want to expand the one that you have already online, the internet is full of opportunity. Don't feel obligated, don't feel like you have to hang around, you know, some person or don't feel like you owe anyone anything, all right? At the end of the day, I'll tell you something, guys. We're all here to build businesses that are profitable and businesses that are enjoyable. There's no need for you to be following people that you don't like or working with people that you actually despise of. Yesterday when we were talking about building an audience, you are supposed to build an audience with people that you actually want to work with, people that you'd high five the next minute you meet them. And the internet is offering us a global stage where you have an unlimited customer base. But there's a caveat to that. How then do you stand out? How then do you reach out to this audience? How then do you reach out to these customers without sounding corny, without sounding pushy, without sounding desperate, etc., etc.? How do you do that? All right? I keep asking myself that question. You know why? Because every single time on the internet, every single second that goes past on the internet, $550,000 is being crossed and exchanged hands. $550,000 is what money that goes through through internet transactions. How much of that are you managing to grab? How much of that have you positioned yourself to be the person that's privy or that can get that kind of money as it crosses and exchanges hands all over the interwebs? All right? Some of that business could be yours if you can just stand out and show people that you the person that can be, do, and have a business that they can trust, a business that they can purchase from, a business that is going to be there in the next 10, 15 years. Derek, how's it going, my man? I Ziambe, Thank you so much for tuning in. All right? Like I said, $550,000 exchanges hands wallets, whatever it is, over the internet, every single second. How much of that is yours? A great chunk obviously goes to Amazon. You know why? Bezos is a beast. But what have you done to project yourself as a person that's worthy of making that kind of money or to be part of those transactions as they happen online? Chris Agua, thank you so much for tuning in. Luke says, afternoon, y'all. I'm glad to share Prosper's knowledge together. Thank you so much, guys. All right. So what we've also noticed, guys, is some internet marketers have actually hurt the reputation of people that are legitimately doing business online, all because of hype and empty promises. Yeah? Do you know what I mean? Um, hey, Prosper might chat offline find out your costs and also any testimonials from students examples um standing out as a va but i feel i could scale even further exactly barbara um if you really want to see testimonials and reviews um go on to my website but i will send it over to you www.livelongdigital.com.au forward slash reviews you will notice or you can just google prosper taruvinga testimonials you will see how people are making plus or minus ridiculous amounts of money. They even more than me sometimes, and I get a little bit jealous. But they are using and they're utilizing, um, you know, some of the, the 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 systems and the online prosperity blueprints that we have um, created for them. But let me tell you also something. The reason why I never talk about how much money we are making or how much money some of my students are making because it's ridiculous. You know what I mean? Not every finger on each hand is the same. Everybody has different, um, you know, everybody has different 
different um, skills. Everybody has different, um, you know, um, ways of doing things. So you can never say just because I made so much money, um, you know, you too can make that much. All right. So at the end of the day, people will only show. You will only see by the symbols if somebody is actually making that kind of money or not. Symbols will show you who they hang out with, how they hang out with those people, what what is around them should show you the kind of level of lifestyle that person is living. Because you can't just write that you're earning so much money when you are living in a dumpster. All right. So you know some some internet marketers have actually hurt the reputation of online entrepreneurship with a lot of hype and empty promises. We all know those people out there every single day. We know they're not making money. I think there's a name for them. They're called millionaires. Millionaires. N i l l your nails because they've got zero but they try to look like they've made it then they're making enough money all right it's all hype and empty promises we don't need none of that stuff okay you know they've given a bad rep to those people that are actually legitimate business owners all right so today i really want you to differentiate yourself so that you can build a profitable business online and stand out so that your tribe and those people that really need to hear from you would have an opportunity to do that. First of all, on the internet, don't be a douchebag. We all know that. Don't be a douchebag. Don't say things that you wouldn't say to anyone in person if you met them. Because you know what? The internet is written in ink. Whatever you say today, you you would have you you know, unless it's you you you. Even if you delete anything on the internet, there are sites that are crawling um, every single time on the internet, and they duplicate content. All right, so you might think that you've deleted something off of Facebook, but if you really Google that statement, it is still there. It's been catched. Just don't be a douchebag online. You know what? It will always catch up on you. All right, you might think that oh, you're saying this. It's it's in the private confines of a group, or you're in the private confines of a of a message or whatever. Everybody's listening, guys. Everybody is listening, and they might just see something without you realizing, and that would tarnish your image. It takes a great deal to build an online presence and image, and it takes a fraction of a second for somebody to just think you're a douchebag and they don't want to hear about you anymore. All right. So whatever it is, just try to be the best version of yourself ever to whoever it is. Even if you hate people, that's why there's the delete button. That's why there's there's the unfollow button. Don't try and win internet fights because at the end of the day, whoever wins, nobody wins. You all remain as douchebags. All right. The internet is written in ink. Whatever is said, whatever you say will remain part of your brand. And it's hard to build a personal brand. You might as well be very, um, you know, um, you know, attentive to what you say, how you say and who you say it to. All right. And whatever it is, don't ever exaggerate what you have accomplished. Never make exaggerations online. You know why? Because we are now living in a 24 hour box. You will be caught out. You will be caught out. You know, when you're building a business online and, and you're not yet well known, don't try and, and, and inflate your income or inflate whatever it is that you're doing or make yourself appear as uh, bigger than you are. You know why? You will be caught out. Because you then end up as a one-click wonder. You can't, you know, live up to the hype that you that that that, that you are trying to peddle to people. And and people people are not stupid anymore, man. They just don't, you know, just because they've swiped right with you, they just don't make a purchase. They need to know you. They need to trust you, and they need to like you. So if you just make one little feeble and think you get away with it, you will be caught out. So don't exaggerate what you haven't accomplished. You know, there's always a temptation to, to want to exaggerate what you have accomplished so that you can appear strong or bigger than, than who you are right now. Just don't do it. The truth has a funny way of revealing itself, guys. And, and when it happens, there's no way you can revive yourself because maybe you're not even there to, to, you know, to testify against it. The worst thing you can do for your business is to tarnish your little image. So just, just, Go on and, and say the truth. It's quite easier 
to actually say the truth, then you require a lot more energy to lie. Do you know what I mean? You require a whole lot more energy to make a lie because you know what? You're going to have to maintain it. You're going to have to make sure um, nobody catches you. Instead of just saying the truth and then you don't have to worry about anything. All right? So if you don't have the credentials right now, focus on building them. The internet is awash with information and content. You can read books, etc., etc. Stop trying to put in credentials that you don't have. Have you ever, have you ever, you know, had that scenario where you're trying to tell your teacher that, no, the dog ate my homework. It sounds smart to you, but very stupid to the person who's accomplished those credentials that you say you've got. It takes just asking you one single question. You might say, oh, I'm an NLP expert or I'm such, such an expert, etc., etc. And then just one question will take you off balance. Nobody cares. They care what you can do for them. You know, nobody cares. Esam, how's it going, my brother? All you need is just that one person who's going to trust your business. And when they do business with you, ask for a testimonial from them. Those are the only credentials you need. Go out there and do, you know, you know, you know, really good work. And then it will lead to the next thing. And then people start talking about you at a barbecue. And Nicole says... I've seen some people in my newsfeed um, doing that, pirating other people's courses and digital products. They were exposed. At the end of the day, let me tell you something. If you're going to try and copy my style of marketing, are you going to be able to show up every single day for 30 minutes and, and maintain a crowd and maintain this consistency? Of course not. Do you? Stop trying to imitate other people. You know what? You don't know what teams they have behind the scenes. You don't know what experience they've had, um, you know, in the industry. Just try and become yourself. Because if you become a, co a copycat, people are not going to buy from you. They're going to buy from the original. So just start working on, you know, doing good work, you know, and then it, 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 it all works out together. Rome was not built in a day. Stop going out there and trying to build a city. Put one brick at a time and build buildings and then eventually it becomes a city. Create and sell products that actually deliver results based on your own experience or the experience of people that are around you that are tangible. Because if you just copy somebody, you know, just because they say it works, you never know what other, you know, contingencies they had behind. Deliver results and then those results are the ones that will build your reputation. Stay away from hype and you will build all the credentials that you need that will lend you, you know, the better chances in business. Don't let numbers or Ferraris blind you, etc, etc. All those Ferraris can be rented out. You know, all those Porsche houses, you can just... You know, look up Airbnb and just have a film crew with you on that particular day. Why don't they show those houses every single day in their newsfeed? Because it was a rental. So don't fall for, you know, people that are just trying to trick you into understanding their hype. And then once they've sold you, you never hear from them ever again. Yeah. Yeah. If you really want to build a business that you, you're not, you, you, that lets you sleep at night. Just tell the truth. And the truth is nothing else but the truth. Stop trying to be something that you're not. Stop trying to be something that you're not. The, the more you keep it simple, the more you start learning what your customers actually want. And then you deliver it to them. Really keep it simple and just start building an email list. Because that's all you need. While you're building that audience, as we said yesterday, if you have an email list so that you can be marketing to them, it makes it a whole lot easier. Your website and your, your, your profile or your Facebook page should just be your home base. Whatever you're doing, because people are watching all those stories. If I see a marketer who doesn't do stories, who doesn't have weakened photos, who only just maybe posts text or whatever, Text you can copy and paste. If I don't see your life or whatever, I stop following. You know why? Because I don't think you're actually living up to the standards of which you say you are getting the results for. 
Your website, your home, your, 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 your Facebook page, all of those should bring out the brand in you. It's a space that you can use to send all your leads and customers to actually, or your potential, you know, partners or people that want to do business with you so that they can learn a little bit about you. How are people going to trust you? How are people going to know you if you don't show anything about what it is in your life that you do? Where is their money going? You need to show people where their money is going. There's a lot of terrorists out there. People are tired of paying, um, you know, onto online personas that, that, are, that are not real. And eventually they use that money to, to bomb them or to, to, to maim them or whichever way. Show people where their money is going. And if you're living a truthful life, it's easy. You just take pictures of your surroundings. Do you know what I mean? It, it, it stops becoming too, too confusing. Some people might just be enjoying your lifestyle so much that they want to be where you are. And that could sell it if and of its own. You never know why people are following you. I know some people follow because they enjoy watching my family photos because they aspire to have a really good family. Some people just really like my little girl because they aspire to have kids, you know, that, 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 that are well-mannered or something like that. Not everyone is always out to, to, for the grind. You never know where you're missing out on, you know, connecting with people because people now want to connect with real individuals. All right? So your website, your life shouldn't be too complicated because if your life is too complicated, then that means you're doing something wrong and then that means you could be lying about something. When your website, when your Facebook profile is just too confusing and it's too clear, you know, or, or, on what you want from people or what you want them to do, you lose out on income. Because you only have 30 seconds to convince a visitor to either stay and read some more. So you want to make sure that your profile, your Facebook page, all of those, you just keep it simple and clean with the truth. The more contradicting you have, nobody has time to figure out if, you, if you're lying or it's a joke or whichever way or if you're being cryptic unless they already know you. All right, so don't try to wall leads with too many widgets or plugins. Do you know what I mean? Just let your content hook them. All right? At the end of the day, the more you try and complicate things, the more you start lying. Because now you want to live up to that hype of being busy or having certain things happening. Just collect people's email addresses if they let you. Offer something in return for that email address and just continuously inform, educate your, your leads so that they get to know you, like you, and trust you. Remember your own mission. Your mission is to build that audience. And once you've built that audience, you nurture that audience so that you can sell to them. They will only allow you to sell to them when they trust you enough. So just build a, a list of people who actually love what you're offering, who love your content, and who are there to support you. Then they become your evangelists. Spend a lot more time on content, guys. Content is still king. If you want to be seen as an expert or if you want to... I even don't like people that call themselves experts anymore. Expert of what? The thing that you just read and learned last night, you're already an expert for it. No, 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 no. All right, put out content. Let's see you coming in every single day. Do you know what I mean? Despite the impressiveness of today's, you know, modern websites and features and gizmos and, and technology that you can use for lives, content is what makes the impact that creates the buying decision. I see some people that used to be, you know what I mean? They're trying to get their foot in, in, in the market, but they've lost it already. Used to bees don't make no honey, my friend. Always continuously put out content that shows that you are still relevant, that shows that you know what you're talking about, and that shows that you're moving forward. You know, your content really needs to wow your audience because that's the part when you're nurturing them. 
Because you can't, you can't really start selling to somebody who hasn't been wowed by you. So you want to wow your audience and then you start addressing their bigger problems. And when they respond back to you, they're telling you what it is that they actually want. And in the process, you build them. All right. So your content has to be fresh. It has to be actionable and it has to be created for the target audience that you want uh, people to listen to. Or the, the people that you want to purchase from you or the people that you, you say you help. Use those strategies to build your audiences and that's how you stand out on the market. This whole look at me, look at me with, with hype, with, with fake credentials. It's not going to put you anywhere else because you're going to be caught out. So you want to be posting interviews, you want to be doing fresh webinars because some people still have webinars from like 2014. How many things have changed on the space right now? How many things have changed on the internet in the last two days? And you're still you know, perpetuating a, 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 a webinar that says 2014. You're not an expert if you don't have fresh content. If you don't have thought leadership in you, don't call yourself an expert. You won't stand out if you're still talking about how to, how to, you know, how to be on MySpace when people have already gone through and gotten tired of Snapchat. Now they're trying to figure out Facebook. The goal is always to get leads back to your website to absorb content so that they learn from you. The more they learn from you, the more they know what to want. And then you're progressing with people instead of digressing and moving people backwards. Yeah? So you got to make it your point to, 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 to become a friend, making connections instead of vying to become an expert. You know, everywhere you turn, there's a guru there. You know, he tells you to build your brand by becoming an expert. You look at them, they don't even have a personal brand themselves. The problem that we're now having is people are really, really tired of, you know, these so-called experts. And the fact that they're always coming in with something new and shiny, which they don't even understand themselves even. Do you know what I mean? A buying decision is made when somebody knows you they like you and then they trust you. They just don't buy because you're an expert. Unless you're selling to high school kids and then maybe their head teacher is the one that is an authority figure to them. This is the internet. We're all adults here. We, there's no one who is afraid of anyone. All right? That would never. You see, that would never happen if you try to keep people at arm's length. Be there to actually help people by actually helping them. True experts, they don't, they don't go about and give themselves titles. People know who they are by the action that they take and the results that they're getting for their customers. People talk about them at barbecues. You know, self-appointed influencers, self-appointed, um, you know, uh, what do you call it? Self-appointed influencers, self-appointed experts. All of that is hogwash. People decide who they want to follow. Don't make them follow by giving them false credentials. So the reason why successful entrepreneurs rise to the top is because they don't actually step on anyone on the way to the top. They help others with them. You know? And sometimes you might have strategies that used to work before. There's always four, maybe three, you know, strategies that are, you know, universal. But, you know, with the way things are going, the internet is constantly changing, etc., etc. So never get complacent. Always keep learning. The more you learn, you realize that those gurus, they don't know anything. They're still selling you courses they made in January, which are probably not relevant anymore. So you probably know a lot more than those people that are calling themselves gurus. You know, if we've learned anything in the, in the last six months, if somebody was selling you a course on how to do well on Snapchat. Where is Snapchat today? Everything that we know about Snapchat has been ripped off by Facebook. Even in the SEO industry, you know, and even now in social media, you can't depend on old strategies. Things change so quickly online. What worked yesterday is ineffective tomorrow. 
So what is stopping you from going out there and learning the new strategies? Instead, you want to hear from somebody who doesn't even know how to move forward with their business. The only money they're going to get is your money that you're going to pay them by buying that ineffective course. To build your business, you have to keep learning and testing by yourself because people are liking your content, not Prosper's content. All right. They're liking Nicole's content. All right. So you want to make sure that every time you learn a new strategy, test it within your business. Some things may work. Some things may not work. Too many entrepreneurs online, they're getting their strategies by copying those people that are at the top of their industry. Guys, used to bees don't make any honey. It's a matter of just Googling whatever it is. Copying, copying other people or, you know, copying and pasting other people's stuff. You can only go as far. It doesn't make you stand out. All right. So I know growing a business online is not easy. You know, there's a lot of competition. There's, there's now, however, a lot of opportunity and it will continue to increase for those that really are grasping it and taking it head on. For you to convert, you have to stand out and actually deliver, all right? If you cannot deliver on your own, consider partnering with somebody who's already going somewhere. Instead of losing whatever you've created, partner with somebody at least. Because when you just copy other people, when you become a carbon copy of somebody else, your potential customers will just find that out and then they'll go and do business with the original. Embrace what makes you and your business different. That's how you win in this um, on the internet space. All right. Well, like I keep saying, guys, there's, there's, there's a lot that you can do with the time that you have. But you want to make sure you're building an audience, you're engaging that audience, and then you can sell to that audience. All right. I really want to help you, you know, identify um, your target audience and people that are most likely to buy from you. I really want to show you a few strategies that can help you engage with your customers and you can actually alter the perception of your authority so they can actually see you as somebody that can help them. All right? There's always a psychology that is used when you want to convert your website visitors into paying customers. All right? I want to teach you the most effective marketing strategies that will help you and your customers to actually buy from you again and again and again without you having to explain yourself. All right. If you don't have to explain yourself, then you've achieved authority status. All right. And they'll be more than happy to recommend you and to buy more from you. It's that simple, guys. You will start generating all the leads every single month with predictability. Yeah. All right. So I would want you, if you really want to stand out online, Comment blueprint and then we'll get you started on a 30 day challenge where you will actually start looking for the right kind of people, find out their real pain, etc. etc. And in that 30 days, you get to work with me personally. Wouldn't that be nice? Now enjoy the rest of your day. Comment blueprint below and then let's continue this conversation um, and then and, and get you started to actually start earning more money with less struggle. Thank you so much for tuning in today, guys.